OAD late night. OAD late night. It's always a late night, actually. Uh, we just played 14 hours. It's part two of our project for the Slithering, so we're playing a three-day marathon to finish the whole adventure. And here we are having one of those nostalgic moments about the end of the project. And, you know, we got Julian asleep in here underneath these tables, actually. We played here all day. We got Carrie asleep in this room over here. Um, Sean and Trinity are asleep over there. Orly and Matt are around somewhere. And me and Eric are sitting here just making this, this video. So, um, yeah, I want to talk a little bit about this, this setup. Not just this right here. Obviously, this is beautiful. But what's actually around us. Um, so here you have something we played on all day. You can interchange it to make all different kinds of jungle setups. It's actually Bill Chelton out west in, in Washington making some great stuff here. And uh, we were really privileged to be able to play on this. It's incredible. So yeah, just a real privilege. And um, around us is a whole other matter. So we've got our backdrops like you see normally. Uh, they're in a lot of our stuff that we do for the Paizo blog. They're backlit. And uh, they just, they were gorgeous. These were incredible. And it's, it's this whole 360 degree experience where you have the vines hanging down, you have, you know, different jungle images. Everything seems to be just so immersive uh, for this project compared to some of the others. I mean, it's always that way, but just, I don't know why. The jungle is going to be a, it's going to be a hard place to leave. So got our projection screen over here, you know, we put our images up. This is the city we were traveling to, ancient uh, Holy Zatramba in the Mwangi Expanse. Got our, our mask. It's a whole party of non-humans. I'm going to miss this part of the project. You know, we got our lizard folk, our tengu, our cat folk, uh, our goblin, our gnome, uh, and a half elf. So, yeah, it's a party that has, uh, what, two animal companions. I mean, it's it's been, yeah, different than a lot of other things. You know, especially when you're at the table and you're looking over at one of these masks that a player is wearing <laughs> so you know i think it's definitely one of those projects that will always stand out for me uh, and i think the same that can be said for everybody else too so a little nostalgia here you know i'm gonna miss this one 